Hello, good people of Twitch and the internet. It's not Friday, but it's nighttime. I don't know. Hello, Chu. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. Um, a day early, but I'm glad some people are still around. I suppose most people play Gwent every day of the week, whereas I'm the weird one who plays it one day a week. Um, we are on day one, which means we're on stream 15, so I'm barely a noob anymore. And what are we going to do? We Our aim today, because we're coming towards the end of the season, I think, I don't know. It says somewhere where the season ends, right? Um, well, that's, well, there'll be an August season. Somewhere it will say... Journey. I don't know. Probably somewhere else. But our plan is we we just hit rank seven. So let's try ranking some more. We could also do some reward points and some ore stuff. And maybe maybe I'll start with some of that. Um What do we want from this tree? Oh, we were gonna get this ore. Because then that gives us a whole, well, yeah, the paper, which gives us a whole bunch of ore. Um, and 100. So I could get those, and then I wouldn't have enough for that. Uh, 50, so 150 for 3. I suppose it's all the same. And then maybe I should save up. Oh no, that's just, oh, it does come with ore, but it's not good value for the ore. That one comes with two kegs, that's worth, again, 200. And I suppose not good value. So maybe we'll just go with these three then. Cool. And now that we have a thousand ore, let's go open some kegs. Now, I'm not quite sure entirely which kegs I should open. Because I have been... I have my Squirtle deck. And the, the Squirtle deck is mostly complete. It's missing a couple of good cards, but I doubt I'm going to hit those cards if I keep going for Squirtles. So maybe I should be focusing on my next deck. Or at least building up my cards within that faction, which is probably going to be Northern Realms, because as far as I understand, if Monsters is the easiest, then Northern Realms is also the second easiest, maybe. Squirtle's up there, and then the others are getting more difficult. So let's go, I don't know. Let's start with five. Apparently I made the decision. And... Uh, yes. I'm sure there's a quicker way to get to the kegs. But I always go the slow way. Okay. And because it's a new faction, I'm going to have to do lots more reading and trying to understand who everyone is. Um, Meditating Mage. They have Patience, which... Rings a bell. At the end of your turn, if your order is not used, increase the card's specified value by one for the rest of the game. Specified value. Right, that thing. And then, yeah, they have the order to gain vitality. So if you leave it on the table, they can have lots of vitality. They can also have resilience if you have two of them. I assume four provision, yes. I assume lots of these cards I'll get duplicates of and that I won't use. Apparently, we already have two Sentry and Spell Weavers. Apparently. Bombardment, which is a warfare card, split four damage randomly between all enemy units. Increase the damage by one for each siege engine you control. So, presumably useful in a siege deck. Uh, Griffin Witcher Adept, which we already have one of. Transform an allied Witcher into a base copy of Griffin Witcher Adept. Why would you do that? I mean, it comes with a shield and has four provision. 
I suppose the things like Geralt, he only has three provision anyway, so you can get the decent deployability and then use that thing. Uh, Griffin, a Witcher Ranger. Formation. Oh yeah, and now that we're on through the resis, feel free to jump in and tell me which one of these is the best. Otherwise, I'll probably just go with the one which I guess is the best. Um, so what do they do? They boost themselves by one for each unit on an enemy row. And they transfer all boost from self to an allied unit. So you want to play that late. The knight is fine. Sentry and knight. Uh, damage an enemy by two. And then on death blow. So if that damage kills them. Gain vitality. And if they get to grace six, they boost themselves by another two. So if they do the death blow, they'll be very close. Because uh, grace is yeah when you first get to that power or higher than it. Trigger it immediately. Uh, and all the knights are easy to begin with. Yeah, I, I thought so. That's kind of why I was looking at this one. Let's go with that. Crack and smash. Right, the poor infantry, which you get to see in the tutorial. Um, I, I haven't seen anyone use this beyond the tutorial, so... Um, presumably they're not that useful. Reavers? Well, we know about Reavers. Well, I mean, we know somewhat about Reavers. Sentry and Envoy, again. Uh, we've seen them recently. Look at three random cards from your deck. You may move one to the top of it. And... Oh, they can use that multiple times. I suppose that's interesting. Again, for provision. Caraballista. Order damage an enemy unit by two, and it has a cooldown at the end of your turn. Gain one armor if it's crewed up, which is soldiers on each, either side. Yes. We already have two knight errants. So, presumably, we'd go with... Kedwani Revenant. Order damage unit by one and death blow spawn a base copy of Kedwani Revenant on this row. It doesn't seem that good. Shuffle an allied mage back into your deck, then play a random bronze mage. So I guess this goes with magey stuff. I know, we'll go with this, even though I don't expect we'll use it, but I don't expect we'll use that either. We've we've packed something good here. I don't know what it is yet. Uh, Lyrian Cavalry. When a, when you play a unit with orders, boost self by one. Uh, Redanian Knight, which we've seen quite a bit. Which, if it's got armor on the range row, it will boost itself by one. When it loses the armor, it moves itself to the melee row and then damages the highest power enemy unit by two. And it can also boost. It seems really powerful for a four provision card, right? Well, it's at least different, I suppose. Kedwani Sergeant has formation, boost knowledge unit by one with two charges. Oh, if formation is played on melee row, you get zero, but range row it boosts itself. Yeah. And another infantry. What a surprise. Okay. Now, having played against the Temple of Militarily last time. I have a feeling um, that would be the one to go for. However, there's also Militally. I don't even know how to say her name. Militel. Um, and I haven't seen this guy. Whenever this unit receives a boost, damage a random enemy unit by the same amount. Templar's meta? Yeah. So that's why I think I should go with that one. I don't know who this is. I'm going to right click. Uh, boost an allied unit by five. Whenever this unit's moved back into your deck, trigger an ability from the cycle. Oh, and there's a cycle of things. Maiden boost all units by zero. Like, oh, spawn a random provision all around unit on a random row where you control the unit and boost self by one, then increase ability values by one. You have to keep moving it back into your deck. So I guess that works well with things going back into the deck. Anyway, I think 
even though this I very much expect this 12 provision to be increased at some point because um, it just like creating three legendaries, right? Create a legendary unit from your faction that's not in your starting deck three times for a 12 point card. Like, anyway, let's go with that. Even though they're going to nerf it, I'm pretty sure they're going to nerf it. Uh, Karak Marine. Boost an allied unit by two on Devotion, boost by four instead. Devotion's when you have all of the same, like, no neutral cards. Winch, which is a warfare card, boost an allied unit by five and reduce its cooldown by three. Dunbanner, which again is a tutorial type card. So we've seen that. And the Century and Knight, well. Oh, we've. I mean, this is a decent pack. We got two rare and one epic. So we've seen him again. And our epic pick. Uh, Kud Kudak. They have a zeal order. Purify adjacent units. I mean, if you need purify, then I suppose that's okay. But probably not for their provision. It's only six provision. Uh, the Maiden's Shield, we already have one of, so probably not worth getting that. And Egmund, who has Veil, the Zeal Order, damage an enemy unit by three at the start of, sorry, at the end of your turn, if the order is not used, boost the unit to the right by one. You're saying Edmund? Yeah, I think so as well. He sounds good. And Redanian Archer, which we already have two of anyway. Reaver Scout, which we've got plenty of. The Bernard Tutor. Uh, on deploy, we'll boost an allied mage by four. So I guess good on a mage deck, but not much else. Also, it hasn't got decent power itself. Ship Ballista. Order, damage an enemy unit by two, then boost a random non-boosted unit in your deck by the excess damage dealt. Increase the damage for each time you've used an order ability this turn. Okay, so if you use lots of orders and then you use this thing, that would be good. Razzies. And our Razzies. Well, we already have two Karak City Guards. Uh, Reaver Hunters. Well, I suppose if I want a Reaver's deck, but I'm not sure I do. But I just feel like that's better than this one. Spawn a base copy of itself on this row and set its pay, uh, base power to one less than so. Bonded on the melee row, at the end of your turn, damage the highest power enemy unit by one. Like, it is just better, right? Even, well, the provisions but the same, but... Even if I don't play a Reaver's deck, I just feel like this is a, a better card. Reavers. Oh, I'm glad I clicked, <laughs> clicked it. Um, I mean, no one else is here. Up to you then, Chu. Um, would you like five more Northern Realms kegs, or would you like to see uh, me play a game as Square Tell? I'll let you have the choice. If my memory serves me, um, you're a fan of kegs. Okay, game. Let's go for a game. We don't need to do all the kegs now. Whenever you want to do kegs, you let me know. Um, in case you haven't been around, I'll just walk you through the deck. Because it has changed maybe a little bit since you were last here. Uh, thank you very much for my scraps. So we've, we're pretty much on the same deck, but it is changed because we've changed the leader to Deadeye Ambush. I don't know if you saw that. And um, we've also got a Nyromancy in there. Uh, so Feinder, the scenario, are not a Nyromancy. Semlus, Angus, the Heist, Venusial, Rafi Heatwave, Vanadine, Alyssa, and then we're into the four point realm because we've got so many high provision gold cards there. Um, and yeah, there's a squirrel in there. I feel like we're maybe one Sappers Purify short, so. Part of me maybe wants to put the, what's it called, uh, per, 
pillar. Yeah, but I don't have one yet, so I'd have to craft it, but it's only 80. It could be useful given I'm using the heist a lot. But anyway, that is the deck at the moment. So we are going to play it. And if we find, for whatever reason, that um, rank 7 is way too challenging for us, and our score tell deck, maybe we'll try the, the, uh, the Thrive deck again. I haven't checked any quests or anything. Maybe I should have done that. I also haven't played in a week, so I'm maybe a little bit rusty. Feel free at any point to jump in and tell me I'm doing something stupid. Okay, having Vanadine and Angus at the beginning is good. We don't have Heist though. Um, although we do have Nyromancy, so we can use that to get Heist. And we can push back. Well, we don't need two Tricksters. Venosil as well. Okay. And, well, we would push that back. Okay. Muta Generator. Which is good, but if I leave it early in the round, it's going to be broken, right? Like, do I need to get rid of it? Because I could pull out Karathi Heatwave instead of the heist. Well, Karathi? Okay. Um, let's just hope that there aren't too many other things that I need to be doing Karathi with. Well, well. Warm water. Not bad. Not bad at all. So they boost an allergy by four and give it Veil. So they do have a their advantage to use. I guess we'll probably leave Vanadine for this round. And we will use Angus. Unless Muta is played on a later round, it will carry you over many points. Yeah. I knew it was dangerous. He just, um, what has he done? Destroy the highest power unit. Okay. Fine. It's a good thing I didn't try and put out heist then. Um, what do we want to do? We want to play a commando, maybe? I mean, I don't know what else we're actually really going to play this turn. If we do a Vanadine, then it will be a very weak Vanadine. Well, I mean, for me anyway. Um, start preparing waylays. Yeah, I mean, I, I can. So I can play it, but what I would normally do is with the heist, sorry, the uh, yeah, the heist, to use that such that I can bring out even more waylays. But I mean, we can do it now. The only other thing I can do is just pass and give them the first round. But that's probably not the way to go. Um, let's let's try it. Let's see what happens. The must the woods abandon. Join us instead and defend the valley. And then who else? I suppose. Because I could play both of those and then Alyssa. That'll give us a decent amount of points. Whenever you use the order ability damage a random enemy unit by one. And it's not... I mean, I could... do that. Mm. I mean, they're going to have this going every turn, aren't they? It's kind of annoying. So yeah, I could play both waylays. I mean, I've only got them two in there. 
I probably don't want to play both of them. Oh no, if I play both of them, I get them back with Alyssa. Okay, fine. So let's just play them. Um, that's kind of annoying. So I could get rid of one of their units. That'll give me a four points and give them one. I mean, I'm not going to be ahead. So that would save me a damage. But that would just be three. Um, it's fine, we'll go with that one. And then we'll probably pass next time. Because that's annoying. If you have... If your starting deck does not have cards with provision cost of 10 or more, gain resilience. Shield and Veil. So they don't have a card with provision 10 or more. Interesting. Um, I'm going to save Alyssa for now, because I don't think she really helps, because I'll be on 22 points. So I need to use her later then. We give them... Uh... Gineki? Is that to me? <laughs> I don't know. It may have been very helpful. Oh, Golden Necker Duck. I see. I was like, um, what do these words mean? But okay. Yeah, I could. I mean, it could be. I don't know what what a Golden ne Necker deck would have in it. Um, okay, so we have the heist this time. We don't necessarily have anyone to use it with. I suppose we could do Venossial. So this could be a Venossial round. Yeah. I don't know. How short are they going to make this round? We can get rid of the Trickster. I mean, I don't like the bomber. Squirrel isn't useful. They're just going to pass. But they do um, so Alyssa's a very good card for this but I need to it's not going to be enough points uh, come on I could go yeah I suppose it's going to be short rounds leader plus Alyssa yeah, that could work. So if we do Alyssa first, no special row. So we get those waylays back, and then one leader. And then... That's it. Yes. Good, good idea on the leader. I was half thinking it, but I wasn't quite sure that was the right move. I wasn't sure about the squirrel. Like if I played the squirrel, if there was something I really needed to get rid of, but I suppose with this deck, there isn't much they're going to be coming back from the graveyard, so it's not a problem. Let's get rid of the squirrel. The bomber is not too useful. I'd rather have commando than the bomber. Trickster. Well, the first thing we're going to do is play one of our um, these units, whatever they are. Do you hear? They approach. The Aniromancy is going to be used for our Simless. That's why he's there. We could use it with the Fame Death. But 
Sinless is our kill everything. Whilst we're playing things, in fact, I didn't see that this was here. Why don't I push push that back? Well, that's annoying. Because I've only got, what, three of those now? Ugh. Told you I was rusty. Anyway, uh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to play the Swordsmaster first. Let us sing the song of steel. I mean, it's not the end of the world that I have it. It just means it's a wasted card. I could have had something else. Resilience. Well, that thing's going to be dead soon, isn't it? Um, so their order is to damage something by one. And I can't... Like, they're just going to kill that. So I feel like what I need to do is play my waylay on them. Or... If I do that, it'll move them to the other row. No, that doesn't help. Okay, well, let's just do this then. And, I don't know, do that. And they can create a bronze Northern Realms unit with an order ability. And the order is refresh. That's fine. Whenever you play a card with an order, gain a charge. So these are, like, really powerful as well. Hmm. And they're probably... As soon as I put down Venosiel, they're going to kill her. So I have nine damage from Simless. So maybe I just play Simless now and do, like, one, two, three. Try to get rid of Crossbowman. Yeah, I think so. That's why I would have to play, uh, play that. I mean, I could play the heist first, but let's let's go with Simless. At your age, at two centuries, you behave like you were barely one. <laughs> So sword in hand. Even Simless. Yeah. We've gone with Simless. It hasn't really done enough damage. But I... That's what matters. Annoying. One they knew, did they know that was on top? <laughs> and who... What? What is... What is this? Damage an enemy unit by three if you control Unicorn. Damage it by six instead. If you have Unicorn in your hand, also play it and then draw a card. So I guess they didn't have it. So yeah, I need to... I mean, I could... Trickster would move it back, but it's, it's this thing I'm more worried about. Um, go on, let's do this now. Heist. Yeah, I wasn't too sure if I was going to do heist first or this first, because... Yeah, I was maybe lucky. They, they can just kill this, right? I mean, I'm very close to death. So they're going to damage it by one. Nope, damage the wrong thing, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Now, does this have a target? I don't know. They, they will just... kill it. I know they're just going to kill it. Play a unit from your deck, and any unit with two damage. The Unicorn, if you control this guy, 
boost it by hacking. Okay. I'm very surprised that he didn't... I mean, this is only now 6 damage, but still. Um... We play Vernon ranged. Uh, then on melee later, yeah. I don't know if this still has a target. I suppose it does. Whoops, a daisy. <laughs> How utterly net Just because there's no point using the Purify now if they kill Vernoseal. Because they're now going to kill Vernoseal with this thing. I saw it coming. This is our land, Dwan. Has he just changed both of his cards into waylays? If he has, he's going to get six point. Well, he's going to kill me by three points, and then... He's going to get six points for each card. So that's 12 points on his side. And minus... F on mine. Um... I mean, I could replay the Trickster, which would move it, and then I would damage it, but that's not really helping. I think I just replay this. Because if I replay that, it won't die. This time. So... Blue yeah, purify it first, though. It's still... I don't get when you... Oh, it's because you have to spawn it to to get the Angus boost. Well, I tried. I tried to keep it alive. But... Um, in which case, we do replay this thing. I don't quite know what happened there, but still. Um, what can we purify now? For your birth! I don't know. Just purify you, just in case. So they can do how much damage? Damage unit by one, and they have six minus three for me. I'll do so sword in hand. Just about. I mean, it was close. We'll give them the GG, because it was a GG. Ooh. Um, yeah, that is apparently what happens when you're a bit rusty. And you still get a good draw. Um, what? I, I was going to check my quest, was I? 60 neutral cards is easy. Northern Realms we're not really playing as at the moment, but we might as well change that. Nilfgaard, well, it clearly doesn't know me. Um, there was also Journey Quests. Play 13 cards with Legendary Rarity. Did I not just play some which were Legendary? Is that just broken? Surely I have things in my deck which are Legendary. Add armor seven times, so I didn't do that. And play four alchemy cards. What, um... Maybe it hasn't updated. If we go back and go to Journey... Oh look, we have lots of keys as well. Um, that's, that's nice. But now? No. I don't know. I do... I'm like, I'm not making it up, though. I do have legendary cards, right? In in my deck. Like, this is 800. That must be legendary. Anyway, we shall go and play another game. And we will play a legendary card for sure. Because we played Heist, right? 
an Oniromancy. These are all legendary. I should probably have also looked at the quest for the summer cycle. Although I think they were just doing things for like... Um, I had something for my humans in Crimson Curse, which I had my Thrive deck. Uh, I did, the game was just slow with uh, nowadays support. We have Thanks for watching. Right. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. And if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.